Hi guys, I'm out here in the garage today and Russell has set me on a task while she's taking care of children. So we're getting ready to gear up for the spring planting season. And in the garage currently, you know, we use these Costco racks, these Trinity racks that come from Costco, along with grow lights in order to raise our fruits and vegetables. Um, and since we're getting ready to do our spring planting, we want to get a lot of seeds started, not just for us, but we also have some friends who are interested in peppers, tomatoes, you name it. So what we've done is, as you can see, Russell has freed up space on these top shelves here by uh, harvesting the bok choy that was there. And she ate a lot of it. She gave some of it to her friends. Uh, it was good. Okay. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is I need to take and put another shelf together. Uh, these Trinity racks from Costco, we paid, I believe it's $89 a piece and they come with six different shelves. Now, as you can see, we are only utilizing three shelves. We have one on the bottom, one in the middle and one on top. So that still leaves us with three shelves from each of these racks that's not being utilized. Now, instead of paying another $89 to get another uh, set of shelves and really only using three of the shelves out of the six, what we're trying to do this time is I purchased these poles and they are, uh, let me set this up here, Seville Classic 72 inch chrome shelving poles. There's two in a pack, okay? I got these on Amazon. And as you can tell here, um, I got them used like new, tried to save a couple of dollars, but the truth is these are really inexpensive, okay? They're only about $11 a pole, so a two-pack is going to cost you about $22 to $23. Obviously, we need four in order to complete the shelving, so I've got two two-packs there. Um, and again, if you bought these brand new right now, they would wind up costing probably about $46 to do the set of shelves, which of course is about half price of what a full Trinity set would be. And I have obviously three racks here that are just leftovers that were upstairs in the attic, just not being used. And I have more of them up there as well. Um, the thing is, I'm not 100% certain if these poles are the perfect fit for these shelves but in the comments somebody said that they were so i'm going to go ahead and give it a try and we're going to make another rack if that works and if it does then we've got more space in order to take and plant new vegetables for spring and also i have these four grow lights here and normally the rest of them i have over there are typically spider farmers uh these are maxi suns okay so um they're less expensive however they still use the samsung diodes it's just that they have a different uh driver behind them and the thing about them is is that the spider farmer grow lights which are fantastic they've done a great job for us they are running about 159 dollars okay whereas these were on sale okay for 76 dollars a piece and if i'm saving half price on four of them <laughs> I mean, you know, we just saved a few hundred dollars right there by buying these instead of four spider farmers. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'm assuming just for starting seeds, it should be just fine. And who knows for, I mean, they're, they're grow lights. So I don't know how much of a difference there would actually be, but uh, more than likely for growing leafy vegetables and everything, there shouldn't be a big difference whatsoever. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started putting this rack together. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is that right here, I also have some leftover components because since we didn't put these on well the plastic clips that would hold these in place on the rods i still have or poles i still have those in here along with um, a set of wheels because we didn't use wheels on a couple of racks we've actually used just the uh the little feet that go on the bottom so i'm also going to check and see if these wheels are going to fit from the Costco Trinity shelves, if those are gonna fit on these Seville poles. So, let's get started. All right, okay, again, each one of these boxes is gonna have two poles in it for a total of four. There we 
we go. <laughs> you know, I bought these used like new, and uh, these bags haven't even been opened, so it's brand new. I didn't save enough to really justify that, though, but uh, I did save a few dollars. This would be the top, and this will be the bottom. So these these do have the feet that are on the bottom. As you can see, they they will unscrew. So I'm hoping that I can get the wheels to fit into these, but I'm not going to put the wheels on. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got. So these are the wheels that came with the Trinity rack from Costco, and how about that? Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so those will work. So let me go ahead and get those on here. Also, we get the wheels on the bottom of those. Yeah, these have never been opened either, so. These might have got shipped to somebody and shipped back, but they are brand new. There should be a tool in here with these wheels to uh, tighten this nut down a little bit more so they don't come loose. Yeah, I see it in there. Uh, don't get cross-threaded. All right. That's the tool right there that comes with the Trinity kit from Costco. So you tighten those down good. Okay, so now. Now we're ready to get the plastic clips that are going to hold these shelves in place on the poles and start putting shelves together.
we got the bottom done. Guys, these poles are going to work just fine. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to show you where you can buy these in case you as well have extra shelves that you want to take and put uh, another rack together. But yeah, this is a perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. I highly recommend this. Nice. Alright, let's get the last one on the top. This is too easy. Here we go. Nice. Well, that just goes to show that uh, if you bought one of these Trinity racks from Costco for $89 and you have extra shelves because you're not using them all for $45, $46, you can definitely put a whole nother rack together instead of having to spend another eight, nine and still not using the shelves. So that's good. And the wheels fit in perfect. All the shelves fit in perfect. So this is definitely a good replacement for the uh, poles that come with the rack. So now comes the fun part, trying to get these lights on. All right guys, so here's the finished product for now. I think it came together really nicely. Again, these poles worked out absolutely perfectly, as you can see. And we've got a light here, here, shelf, two lights on the bottom, the wheels are on. I think this is gonna work out just fine. We'll add this one into the rest of the grow uh, room over here and get a, a lot of plants ready for everybody for spring, so. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I hope that this will actually help somebody if they're looking for poles for their shelves for their Costco racks. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.